Okay, so what we want to do today, as you said earlier, is just to unbox our Arduino starter kit. So we want to know what and what can you find in your Arduino starter kit. Well, actually, this one has newer things because I actually pimped this myself. So, but when I got it, I already have some of the things here before. Um, now, these items, ah, voila, yeah. So yes, I, I didn't start a kit and we want to know what we can find there. Well, when you get a starter kit, it's actually cost about uh, 25 to 30 dollars. It's actually cheap and you can buy from eBay, uh, you can buy from AliExpress. All right, so I, my starter kit here, we have, uh, let me try to get the focus. That's the humidity sensor, but you won't see this type, you see the cheaper type. This one is about 200 meters. So you see humidity sensor, temperature and humidity sensor is one thing you see. Then the next thing you see, you see uh, your uh, TM digital display. It's actually used for time. I actually built a project with this, probably uh, at the end of the video, I'll let you know what I did with this. You see this? Yeah, it's used for timer and then um, other digital works. Uh, you see stuff like um, water sensor. Yes, you see water sensor in your starter kit. So it's very advisable that when you get your starter kit, try to make use of all your components. Well, actually, I'm guilty of this because I'm still trying to make use of some of my components. I got this starter kit since 2017 and today I'm still not even done with some stuff. Maybe I have other things anyway. Yeah, so let me just cover up this because those ones are not part of the starter kits. But I think what we have, you see, have some other things here which are part of soda kits. Now, when you have your soda kit, you get this. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Sorry. I don't think you get this. You have to buy this. But it's actually one important thing you need to get because this is ultrasonic sensor and it's going to help you to do your projects when it has, comes to do with um, uh, what they call it distance avoidance with devices like your autonomous vehicles and all that. Right, so you're going to see an Arduino Uno. It's like very important. You must see an Arduino Uno in your starter kit. So, anytime you're actually buying a starter kit, make sure you have an Arduino Uno or a Nano because you just can't even do anything without these guys. Like, this is just like the computer of what you want to get started with. Right, you also see a server. This is a server. Yeah, yeah, it's a server motto. Though currently, I actually use this one for a, a, a device currently. So it moves in just 180 degrees, uh, but it's not advisable to turn this actually, it can actually damage your gears. Like I think I just did one, I just broke my cell phone motor right now. Right, that's by the way, so we you also see some LEDs, yeah. You're gonna see this, this is an RGB LED. Yeah, it's an RGB LED, if you can see it has about three legs. Right, so this is an RGB LED, so you're gonna see RGB LED as well. Then you're going to see some jumper wires, not like this exactly, but it's going to be like a banana clip. So you're going to see a lot of banana clips. Then you're going to see an RFID. My RFID is actually one technology I've not really got into because since I actually got this other kit, I've not used this guy. And uh, they can use it for security doors, you can use it for instance to do with security access and all that. So an RFID is also in your starter kit. Then um, you will see a 16 by a 4 by 4 buttons. I use this one for some controls. Like uh, I still I've not used this too, but you use this to uh, you get this in your starter kit when you get them. Then I think you also get to see something like this. Yeah, this is actually a digital um, LED uh, seven segment display board. We have just one and we have much, uh, about four so you can get to program these guys that's pins already they are male pins so you program them based on what you want to use them for but i've not used them because i feel ah i like the other one i used uh, i was using them for my timer and then this one is actually a nice one too and I just like eight by eight uh, led matrix I, I've used this one, but in Ari, I use it to tell myself welcome when it comes to my room. Like when somebody comes to my room, I just tell the person welcome, welcome. Yeah. So you can use this one. It's also a good one. Yeah. So uh, you see a breadboard. You see a breadboard, but it's a small breadboard that you can work with in your programs and all. Then 
those are just currently what you're gonna see because I've used some of my components but probably when I get a new one I'll do a review of what you need to see in your Arduino starter kit uh, thank you for watching this and uh, I believe you must have enjoyed what we talked about in your starter kit so I'll later show you some of my project I've done with some of my components here all right You are still on the program. You still need to know that uh, there are still some components that which I didn't show you when I was showing you uh, what you need to see in your Arduino starter kit. And uh, I think I didn't tell you about this. This is actually an IR uh, remote uh, remote transmitter. It actually uh, works with these guys. These guys is the receiver. So you can get to use this one to turn on your light in your room or uh, turn on your fan. Or just anything you want to, but you need a thermostat to do that because the voltage is different. This works with about 5 volts and you need to use the thermostat to work with that. So this is an IR transmitter and receiver. Then you also see joystick in your starter kit. Yeah, you will see joystick in your starter kit. So have that in mind, just one or two. So you can use it to make some robot and all that stuff or to control servo motors like I said earlier. Right? Then yes, here is servo motor. I've not really programmed my servo motor for a very long time now. But I actually wanted to start before and I will still work on that. Now, server motor is just like uh, a normal DC motor, but not just like a normal DC because it has its own driver. So this is driver that it works with. So you have to program this driver for it to move this guy. So it's just like we have our DC motor, we have our server motor on here. So our, uh, uh, sorry, this is a stepper motor rather. This is a stepper motor. So we have our stepper motor and then we have our server motor. So this is a stepper motor driver, as I said earlier. Yeah. So we have uh, cables that come to your starter kit. This is actually cables that you can plug to your Arduino. Then this guy down to your battery. So your 9 volt battery. Yeah. Then, yeah, we have a series of uh, LEDs. You have LEDs, uh, resistors, so I uh, expect as LEDs and resistors in your starter kit. Yeah, you see here is the RGB LED. Look at the number of pins there. Then we have the normal black, uh, red and green and resistors. Mostly 220 ohms resistor, just not to burn your LEDs. Then we have more LEDs. We have push buttons. We have LEDs, we have push buttons and we have some, I think some resistors as well. And sometimes you can see LDR, that's light dependent resistor, it's just to make some automatic uh, sensor devices that uses solar or that uses lights to work. Yeah, so that's just that about that. So I didn't tell you about this. You see one LCD in your SATA kit, but most of the time you see the LCD in your SATA kit, they don't come with the I2C, so you actually get to program them with it. Then they call it 16 pins, but I think it's 8 pins or more or less. So you see something like this, but I work with my ITC more often. Like I think I did a project yesterday. So I was just trying to tell the world hello. So I actually did one project. Yeah. So just trying to say hello world, hello world, like hello world. I did that I just showed someone just how simple this project can just work. So I used an Arduino Nano. Yeah, you won't see this in your starter kit. You need to buy this. Yeah, so just have it in mind. Nano, you buy it. Right. Then, this is one of my projects, which I did. So I used about four arrays of what I showed you before. Of that 18, it has 8x8, 8x8 LED display board. It has its own driver. So I got this. I think I got this for about $5. Then, uh, this is a Nano that is controlling this guy. So probably I will be showing us how we can actually get to do this. Because uh, most people too might have to be interested. Now, what this one does is currently, if once you own it, it displays an information on the screen. So I want to power it on. So you see, it's telling us welcome. Let me try focus. Let's see. It said welcome. All right. So welcome. Okay, I think the batch is low or something. Okay, so it's just going to, uh, what it does basically, it just gives you an information uh, when you power it on, it just gives you an information on your screen. So that's just that. And the next thing I'll be showing you is 
this yeah you find this you might not find this in your starter kit you, might, you can't find this but you find a buzzer in your starter kit so what i actually did here was i tried to make an alarm that can wake me in the morning so anytime i wake up in the morning it tells me oh cereal is six o'clock no i'm just kidding it actually just be to six o'clock that's all so let's try this now this is my rtc it keeps the is a CMOS battery that keeps record of my time then this is actually the tm i told you about then this is my this is my uh buzzer so so we have our rtc is working and it's going to give us the current time okay like when i did this video exactly today is about okay 16.52 so you just um like it's 4.52 4.53 now so you see it's changing like you can see i'm trying to get focus I'm trying to get the focus actually yes i've gotten the focus so it's 16.53 all right so that I just said so this is actually some of the projects which we'll be doing and we'll be teaching some of our colleagues here in IoT Lab. So I believe you got you've understood and you've gotten the idea of what you can actually find in your Arduino starter kit. So um more and more tutorials will be coming your way. So I'd like you to sit back, relax, and enjoy. Yeah, don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to my channel. And some of the link of my code, I'll be sharing it in the notification bar down below. So don't forget to comment in case you want code for, of any of the projects I've done. Or you're interested to know more about some of my uh, projects, you can send your comment and I will try to make sure I give you good feedback concerning that. So, see you some other time. Peace. Right now.